गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स टूडे वी विल डिस्कस काइंड्स ऑफ सेंटेंसेस यू ऑल नो दैट देयर आर फोर काइंड ऑफ सेंटेंसेस एजर्टिव और डिक्लेरेटिव कमांड और इम्परेटिव क्वेश्चन और इंटरोगेटिव एंड एक्सक्लेमेटरी एसर्टिव और डिक्लेरेटिव दीज सेंटेंसेज आर यूज टू स्टेट इंफॉर्मेशन दैट मीन्स फैक्ट दे मे स्टेट अ फैक्ट और एन ओपिनियन दे आर द मोस्ट कॉमनली यूज सेंटेंस टाइप मोस्ट एकेडेमिक राइटिंग एम्प्लॉयज सिंपल और डिक्लेरेटिव सेंटेंसेस डिक्लेरेटिव सेंटेंसेस एंड विथ अ period for example research on the topic suggests that grammar is essential to success look at this sentence this sentence is just giving us information we do not have to do any duty after listening to the these sentences or we do not have to answer anything these are just statement another example of assertive sentence is my essay is better than yours so assertive sentence is actually conveys information fact or opinion next command or imperative imperative sentences give a command a request advice a suggestion a warning or a wish they can be followed by a period a question mark or an exclamation mark for example open the window this is a command please have a seat a request obey your parents and advise enjoy yourself a wish so these all are examples of imperative sentences the simple subject of an imperative sentence is usually you for example turn to page 37 it means you turn to page 37 if a person's name is included in an imperative sentence it is a direct address not the subject for example john turn to page 37 here the subject is you not john actually the sentence is john you turn to page 37 imperative sentences may be written like a question but they aren't asking anything for example will you please mind your manners on hearing this question we need not feel like answering something neither this is a yes no type question this is actually an imperative sentence whose structure is like a question so whenever you will look at the question mark don't write it or think it to be an interrogative sentence i will suggest to read the question carefully and then decide whether it is interrogative or an imperative next question or interrogative 
these sentences ask questions accordingly they end with a question mark for example what are you doing have you completed your work she is the daughter of an mla isn't she so here you can see there are three types of interrogative sentences in the first sentence the sentence is starting with a what and it seeks some information from you in the second question have you completed your work you can answer it by saying only yes or no so this is a yes no type question and in the third question the question starts with a mere statement that she is the daughter of an mla in the behind of the sentence there is a tag question or tell question that is asking is it so so there are three types of interrogative sentences wh word type question yes no type question tag or tell question wh word type question in english interrogative questions often begin with interrogative words or wh words like who when where why what how etc for example why are you late what time is it where is the library when you hear any kind of wh word type question you need to answer something in word whether it be a single word answer or it could be an answer of more than a word but you need to answer something yes no type question interrogative sentences without wh words are generally formed by moving the helping verb before the subject in this type of question it is enough if you answer it by saying yes or no suppose for example did you complete the assignment the answer could be yes or no are you busy same thing the answer could be yes or no so as we can answer this type of question by stating only yes or no this is known as yes no type question next tag or tell question a question fragment can be added on to the end of a declarative or imperative sentence for example you have answered all the questions on this test haven't you so after a declarative sentence there is a tag question this is another type of interrogative sentence you can take another example close the window will you here the tag question is after an imperative sentence next exclamatory exclamatory sentences exclaim or show great emotions exclamatory sentences end with exclamation marks for example she is going to fall wow that magic trick was amazing exclamatory sentences can begin with question words what wonderful weather we are having today how lovely to see you so whenever you get an exclamation mark this must be a exclamatory sentence and it shows great emotion so students let us move to the exercise page number 8 read the following sentences and tick the assertive 
or declarative sentences. 1. He does not want to go to the party. As it is giving us some information or telling us a fact that he does not want to go to the party. So it is an assertive sentence. So tick it. Next, 2. What are you doing here? As it is asking some answer or it seeks some answer, so it cannot be a declarative or assertive sentence. So leave the space. Okay, next, page number 9. Question number three. How are you? Smitha? Again, this is an interrogative question. So leave the box. Okay, next. Move on to exercise D. Take the correct option to show what kind of sentence it is. One. Come here. Command, advice, suggestion or request. It is a command. Next, two. Please come immediately. It is a request. Tick on the request. Next. Page number 10. Open the door. It is also a yes command. Okay, next. Go to exercise number E. That is in page number 11. Change the following into interrogative sentences by rearranging the order of words. First question. They are coming now. If we try to turn it in interrogative sentence, what we need to do is just put the auxiliary verb at the beginning of the sentence. What is the auxiliary verb here or the helping verb here? Are they are coming now. So we must write are they coming now and put a question mark. Question number two. He is playing with them. So what I have asked you to do? Just put the helping verb just before the subject. So write it. Is he playing with them? Next question number three. History is her favorite subject. The helping verb is is. Or it is main verb here. So you can write, is history her favorite subject? Next, page number 12, exercise F. Change the given assertive and exclamatory sentences beginning with what or how and add the right punctuation marks. Here, I need to tell you something. The first question is, he is an obedient child. Now, obedient child is an adjective. Here the word obedient is an adjective. So we can write what an obedient child he is. And put an exclamation mark just after the sentence. Next. Shakespeare was a prolific writer. So here also prolific is an 
adjective so we have to use what what a prolific writer shakespeare was and put an exclamation mark question number 3 the final match was thrilling so how thrilling was the final match next g rearrange the given words to form sentences as directed sachin is playing not in the match it is just simple rearrange so what will be the answer sachin is not playing in the match next page number 13 rearrange the following words to form interrogative sentences what you will do with these packets so the answer is what will you do with these packets i hope you can solve it yourself later on we will discuss over it next i rearrange the following words to form exclamatory sentences a well behaved child what you are so the answer will be what a well behaved child you are then j rearrange the following words to make a command request advice or instruction one in the library don't make a noise so if we rearrange it will be don't make a noise in the library so children go through the chapter of your grammar book and if you get time again go through this video if you have any problem ask me during the doubt clearing session thank you children have a nice day